The AI race is heating up and all eyes are on Google. So for months, we have heard whispers about the next generation model Gemini 3.0. And in the past week, the rumor mill went into overdrive. We had major leaks, insider commentary and even a bit of drama that everyone got talking. And so today we're going to break it all down. We will look at the credible leaks that point to a massive leap in power and explore the big ideas that Google's own CEO says are driving this new model. And we will even cover the leak that turned out to be a false alarm, sadly, and what it actually means for the timeline of Gemini 3.0. So let's get into it. First from Derek Nee, founder of the AI company Flow with AI, who recently met with a Gemini lead engineer and he tweeted, just talked Gemini 3, not this month, but soon 3.0 Flash will be better than 2.5 Pro. And now this is a huge statement because actually the Flash models we know are Google's small efficient AIs and the Pro models are their big powerful ones. And now for the new Flash model to be more powerful than the current Pro model is a massive deal. And it tells us that the underlying technology is just on another level. And this lines up with what the respected research firm SemiAnalyze has tweeted, saying Gemini 3 will be incredible performance in coding and multimodality. But what actually makes it different? To understand that we have to listen to the head of Google's DeepMind himself, Demis Hazamis, I hope I pronounced it correctly. He actually broke down this perfectly on the Lex Friedman podcast. He explains that a bond release is like getting from Gemini 1.1 to 1.5, is like getting new tires for your car, but at the end it's the same car, just a bit better. But a full numbers jump from 2 to 3 is like getting a brand new car with a new engine. And it's basically a complete model rebuild from the ground up. So the question is, what's the big new idea inside the new engine. The concept is called world model. So instead of just being a text-based AI that can see pictures, Google is building an AI that has a foundational understanding of the physical world, same way as we kind of experience it. Yeah, It doesn't just process information, but it actually understands it. We have already seen amazing previews of this technology. And if you want to stay on top of this, and be the first one to know when Shiman Gemini 3 drops, make sure you subscribe to this channel because we will be covering it the second it is out. So to take a look at this technology, we also have to take a look at Vio. Vio 3 is well known for these amazing videos and it's Google video model. It can create the stunning videos because it understands how light, how physics and motion actually work. And then there's also another model, Jenny 3. And this one is even crazier because with Jenny, you can give the AI a single image and out of this image, it will generate a full interactive playable video game world from it. It's kind of like creating a real simulation in real time. And it actually memorizes, uh, yeah, what, wherever you have been before to stay the same. And for the AI to do this, it has to really understand the concepts like depth and perspective. And this is the core idea that is likely the heart of Gemini 3. And this all leads to creating a true helper at Google's I.O. They showed the robot arm that could understand spoken instructions directly. And this wasn't then just the Lang LLM writing code for the robot arm. No the model was connecting language directly to physical action. So Gemini 3 will likely take this to the next level. It will be a true omnimodal capable of taking in any kind of information like text, code, images or video and produce, produce then also all kinds of output, including actions. It will have also deeper memory with rumored multi-million token context window which I'm really looking forward to, and also specialized ability to reason through complex problems using the techniques reportedly called deep think and maybe where we have similar, seen similar things already with 2.5 Pro. And now this brings us to the drama that had the AI community buzzing in the last week. There was a reveal from a Gemini 3.0 Ultra model in the Google's public code which then went viral, even in, 
uh, major AI influencers uh, thought this was kind of a proof that the yeah better might come out in October and everybody was super excited. But then the story took a turn. A Google developer clarified that it was just an external test data and not an official product. So while the code was real, its meaning was misinterpreted. So basically it was an error. So since this big leak was an error, it makes it questionable if Google will give us a preview of the new Pro and Flash model already in October. But I personally hope really so. And what we can be sure of that every day we are getting closer because the momentum is undeniable. And I think uh, Google has to take the next step to also compete with other competitors which brought out their models like GPT-5 from OpenAI and so on in the last months. And now this sets at the end the stage for this massive showdown. And I'm going to bet that I think Gemini will be the number one AI model by the end of the years. Of course, we need to see what happens because uh, the competition is strong. We have seen OpenAI's latest GPT-5 codex, mo codex model, which has won the hearts of many users, pulling them away, for example, from other uh, model makers like uh, Anthropic with their Claude Opus and Claude Code. And yeah. Also, thanks to its incredible coding capabilities and long run times. But here again, also Gemini 3 should be superior. But I really can't wait to see and test it myself and test also the enchanting abilities and the coding abilities. And I think with this new architecture, Gemini will be able to beat uh, the other model makers and win again back the hearts of the users and pull them away from GPT-5 or Anthropic. And I think it's going to be very interesting at the end of the year. And of course, we will stay on top of it. But now we want to ask you, who do you think will have the strongest AI model by the end of the year? Let me know your predictions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for all latest AI updates and also guides. So I say thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.